Uh, my name is Ronald Quinlan Vatambua. Um, mom's Fijian, dad's Aboriginal. Mom's from uh, from Kantabu, uh, mixed in Sori. Um, yeah, former IBO Super Middleweight World Champion. It's um, fighting in Fiji, 18th of November. Daniel Gill, uh, which I won my world title I IBO against Daniel Gill. Daniel Gill's been in with Golovkin, Cotto, Mundine. Um, I was fortunate enough to beat him for the IBO Super Middleweight World title. Lost it to Chris Eubank Jr. in the UK. Stepped up to, then I stepped up to light heavyweight for Joshua Bites, who's I think the bronze medalist Olympian, silver medalist Olympian. Um, yeah, so I've been, been around fighting some of the best. Eubank Jr., um, as it's, the experience was me, I'm humble, you know, when I was just, as another fight. But to see, the, to see how the fans was in England, that how they come up to me. Um, oh, your world, world champion, everyone knew me in the boxing world, but me, I was just humble. Like, I didn't really, I was, I was, like, I was surprised myself, you know. But to fight Chris Bank, you know, he's one of the elite athletes in the world. For me to jump in the ring with him and go 10 rounds with one of the best in the world, still eat Macca's KFC fast food, not diet, not train properly, to dominate just off my talent was a big thing. Um, comes with experience, so the losses that I had, now, now I replay and think of where I went wrong. Where I went wrong was wasn't dieting, wasn't doing the things that I was meant to be doing, which I'm doing now. The arena that, I think this, this arena is like one of the big, big, I think it's like one of the same size arenas as a fight in over in overseas. So when I fought Rebank, I think this arena might be just as big as it. Um, against Chris Shubank. When I was saying, well, I, I fought at the O2 Arena when I fought Joshua Bites, it's a, it's a massive arena. When I fought on, uh, when I fought Joshua, when I fought Quadjo at the O2 Arena, uh, All Phones Arena, when Monday and fought Shane Mosley, that was a big, big arena. But this arena is, I think, one of, one, one of the big, big ones. Yeah. So my grandfather showed me how to fight. My first boxing bag was the banana tree at the backyard, punching that. And I just felt, I felt the love of fighting. Um, I wasn't a footy rugby player, all the family was, but except for me, I just love fighting. There's a lot of talent here back home, um, as well as like back in Australia, but here, we've got the talent. Look at what, look at what um, Fiji's doing in the rugby. They're killing it. They walk out of the boxing do the same. It all comes down to the hard work you want to put in, the dedication, the sacrifice you have to make. It might take long, but you keep chipping, chipping away. That's what I was doing. Um, kept going, kept going. Sometimes I feel like giving up, but never give up. Because the opportunity might be just there and you might open the door. You might stop when the opportunity is just there. So my message is you keep striving for your goals. Um, never give up, never give in, just keep going.